Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you are about to see here. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I appreciate it. And for anybody watching, if you enjoyed this video and would like to give it a big thumbs, thumbs up at the end, that would really help my channel. So I'm just going to get right into it. This is something that is very, um, very typical for my channel, but it's also brand new because this is not my money. Um, a lot of you who have been with me for a while know that my nephew has been living with us for, um, I think about eight or nine months now. And, um, we have been offering, I have been offering, I have, I'm a control freak and I love to budget. So he's very lucky. This is my thing, um, to hold some of his money for him from his paychecks. And that way it's a little bit easier for him to save and not mindlessly, mindlessly spend, um, online purchases and things like that. Um, you know, and, and having that at his disposal. So we did have a long talk about this. He was very open to me doing this video and setting up this budgeting system for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this be a regular budget series on my channel. And I want you to share with me and um, or I want to be able to share with you uh, all of his progress that he makes in the next probably six to eight months. I'm very, very excited for his future. Um, he has been living with us, like I said, for about eight months. Um, my brother lives out of town. He lives out of state actually. And so uh, my nephew wanted to move back here. This is kind of where my family's home base is. And um, he wanted to kind of start over. He did um, some time in the army, uh, which he very much enjoyed, but realized it probably wasn't his career path. And so right now he is working in an industry where this fall he is going to be starting an apprenticeship where he will officially um, be not only paid to get that official um, certification for his job, but then when he's finished with the apprenticeship, he will be making more money. So that's a little bit of background. Right now, this is all the money he has given me over the past several months to save. Um, this is pretty much after uh, a lot of his debt payoff. He did pay off his debt. That was one thing that um, I was very stringent about when he moved in with us. If you know, I'm we're glad to share our resources, and we didn't charge him any type of rent or require him to pay us in the beginning. Um, he has, in the past two months, decided. Um, you know, we've talked about it, and we have landed on a number that is going to be considered rent, quote unquote. Um, but before he got into any of that, my goal for him was to pay off his debt. So he did have a credit card, he did have a balance on it, and that balance is cle clear and free right now. He is 24 years old. And so this is a little bit of a new start for him. He wasn't a big saver before, but he has goals in mind now. And I think that he's very excited about his future. And so I am excited to be a part of that. So this is the stack of money. I'm going to count this with you. These are the envelopes that I have pulled out of my collection um, for him to utilize. I pulled a little uh, traveler's notebook out of my uh, basket of unused notebooks. Of course, I have my calculator here and we are going to set him up for his budget future. I'm very excited about this. This is going to be a new regular feature on my channel. He does get paid every two weeks. And so we are going to be adding into the sinking and cash funds um, on a regular basis until he reaches his ultimate goals. Um, and I'm not sure which one of those is gonna come first. Right now, he is very excited to save for a new car. His car is paid off. Um, it was um, purchased jointly between my brother and my nephew. Um, so that is paid off, but he does have to concentrate on in the future, um, either car repairs. It is a used car. It's a great one, but you know, things come up. So he needs to be prepared for that. And, um, also at some point a new car. So I am going to write new car on here. But should he need a car repair or something, you know, for his current car, it's going to come out of here too. So this is pretty much his um, complete car fund, but we're going to hopefully be stuffing this for a new car and hopefully we won't have to dip into this for anything else. So new car is one, um, his own apartment. So when he moved back here, he originally moved in with a friend um, and they got an apartment together and um, everything was all well and good. And then his friend decided that he wanted to work on restoring cars with his own father and he wanted to move back home to save money. So that left my nephew in the lurch because he wasn't able to afford the apartment they were in by himself. 
thus that is how he ended up with us um so he is going to be saving for a new apartment on his own no roommates no relying on other people because even though that's an excellent situation especially for a young single person you can't always count on other people so it doesn't always work out so if you um you know it just it depends so anyway a lot of information but this is kind of the kickoff video for his budget so I feel like I have to give you a lot of background so you understand everything going on um he is a gift buyer he's a very very generous kid so he did go a little bit overboard at Christmas but that was okay I mean it's Christmas and so I talked to him and we had a discussion about let's let's start to save for Christmas. That way you can still buy the presents that you want and you can do the activities that you want and be, you know, have the kind of Christmas that you want, but you're also pre-prepared for it. And so we have a Christmas envelope. Um, the next one is going to be his car insurance. And um, I'm not sure if we're gonna continue to put this into um, a cash envelope like this or if he's going to be leaving it in his uh, account but right now I want him to save up a couple months in advance for his car insurance and just start paying it twice like um, you know biannually so I think that will be a little bit of a discount for him if he decides to do that here I am putting down good old-fashioned rent um, he is paying us now um, this is something very new and it's something that that money that he gave us the past couple of paychecks I have put aside I haven't put it back into our own personal budget uh, because I just want to make sure that this was going to work out so now that he is debt free um, he has more money more available at his fingertips to use on other things thus the ability to save um, but we did have a chat about it and um, my husband's laid off right now. I may be getting laid off very soon. Um, that is definitely up in the air, but I have received notification that that's a possibility um, very soon. So we have landed on the figure of $175 per pay. Now that's going to cover everything. Um, that's going to cover his food, of course, any laundry that he does here, any racking up of utilities. We had to add an extra cable box on so he can have cable um, in his room and things like that. So we it is it's an expense and right now he is able to do it so that's going to be a total of 350 per month um, but again all of his food and things like that are completely included in that I think it's a pretty good deal I don't know maybe somebody else wants to weigh in and tell me I don't have children and so this is kind of new territory new ground for me of course um, you know, everybody thinks it's the right decision, but you know, I'm definitely not trying to gouge him in any way. And once things go back to normal for my husband's job and my job is more secure again, I don't care if he pays us at all, to be honest. I'm just trying to do, you know, a pretty much a favor for him. So the last one is going to be savings. So we're going to write down good old fashioned savings because even though he has some specific savings categories, he still needs a little bit of generic savings money that's going to be eventually converted into an emergency fund. Uh, once he lives on his own, he's going to be on his own. And so he needs to um, have these things in mind and plan for the future and plan for unexpected costs to arise. So first of all, um, he's been giving me his paycheck money for a while. Now this paycheck money is minus um, anything that he has spent miscellaneous. So anything that he has purchased for himself, bought online, um, you know, things like that. He's a smoker. Um, so he is trying to quit smoking right now um, because I think he's just on more of a health kick. He's doing a lot of exercising now that we're on quarantine. Even though he is working, he's been spending that extra free time that he may have been doing other things, focusing on himself, which I think is excellent. Um, and so this money, he could have saved more, um, but right now this is a, a really great start. So we're not going to, um, you know, worry too much about what could have been done. I, I think the biggest, um, the biggest win out of this so far has been the fact that he was able to pay off his credit card and become debt free. So I think these are all twenties now. Okay. So we're going to count this up and see what he has. And then we're going to divvy it up into funding accounts. And I, I, this is my thing. I, I, I love doing this. And so very exciting for me. All right. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, oh boy, you can tell he gets these right out of the bag, 40, 60, 80, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 10, and 20. All right, so he has 10, 20. Does anybody do that when you start your calculator? You have to hit this several times. I don't know why. All right, 10, 20 plus 51, 52, 200. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, twenty five hundred. Kid is doing better than me. All right. So we have the money separated and accounted for. So now it's time for us to start divvying up in the notebook. So we're going to use the envelopes and we're going to use the notebook to keep a consistent track on what is what. All right, so I don't even know where I got these notebooks. They came in a two pack. I think they're actually from the Target dollar spot, um, but they're, they're pretty good. All right, so first, um, First things first, um, savings and sinking funds. I don't know how else to title it right now. And we can always go back and um, change that. All right, so savings and sinking funds. So the first one is going to be, um, how should I do this, guys? Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a page for everyone. How about that? Because then it's easy to add and subtract on every given page. So the first category is going to be new car. And then the date. So we'll start with today and then the amount. And then plus or minus. I think that's a good way to do it. So for new car, um, where were we at? 3720. Let's see. Let's come back to that. So new car, apartments. He knows we kind of talked about how much he wanted to put aside right now for his apartment. So we were putting the date, the amount, and plus or minus. All right, so today's date is May 3rd. We are putting 500. We're adding, okay? So we're gonna do it like that. So let's put 3720 minus 500 that we have accounted for for rent. So now we're down to 3220. All right. So let's just do Christmas because he also talked to me about how much he wanted to have in his fund for Christmas as of right now. So he has, like I said, he has more on the ball right now at this moment than I do because I need to get back into my funds. I have my sinking funds. And you guys, um, I haven't updated that because I haven't had anything to update it with. It's been just us getting by paycheck to paycheck recently. And so Christmas, um, this is May, May 3rd again, and he has $400. That is pretty awesome in my opinion. I mean, he could, realistically, he doesn't need to buy so much for everybody. But all right, so he was on the 3220 minus 400. Oops. So now he's down to 28.20. All right, so car insurance. This is just a big in case. And also this is going to be very helpful when he changes his payments to um, 
bi-yearly payments instead of monthly. And he's under 25, so his insurance um, being accounting for his age and um, he's a male, um, his insurance is a little bit more expensive. So right now he has 500 for that. So let's subtract that. Now he's down to 2320. Okay, we're going to put rent here. Now he has already paid us the past couple of times, but he's going to have a little buffer here in case he should lose hours because of quarantine or in case of something else happening that, you know, is unforeseeable. Um, he doesn't have like a ton of paid vacation or paid sick time. So if he chooses or needs to take days like that, it's going to pretty much, in my estimation, be unpaid. So um, he's going to have an entire month's rent as a backup. So $350. So we're going to subtract $350. Bringing him to $1970. And then he wants to start his savings or um, emergency fund with $200. And I did tell him, I said, this you got to really concentrate on. I said, because this is your fallback. You know, should anything super unexpected happen, including the, including the loss of a job, you never know. I mean, we are in really crazy times right now. So you never know what's gonna happen. And even though he didn't want to stack this one too much, I said, in the future, that has to be priority. So right now he has 1770 left. So that is what we're gonna add for his new car category. And again, kid is ahead of me. So, all right, so we have date, amount, and our plus or minus. I could do this so much better. And actually, I don't know, I might concentrate on something like that for him, like an electronic spreadsheet or something like that. Okay. All right, so that has brought him down to a zero-based budget. And I love that. So let's go, let's use this, let's use this little notebook to put together his envelopes. This is a really long video, but again, this is just the start of things. So um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. All right. So let's do, maybe let's do the 1770 first. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1700. 1750, 1770. All right, so we are stuffing his new car envelope. This is so satisfying, even when it's not your money. Guys, if there's somebody that you can help out with their budget or kind of give them your tips and tricks or sit down with them and help them kind of figure things out, I think that's such a service for people. Um, I did that for one of my coworkers and she is, so happy right now she just feels so much lighter and freer and organized um 200 for savings and i didn't do anything you know crazy or magical for her i just sat down with her and took the time and honestly she had all the tools she had you know enough money and things like that she just needed to reorganize and so if you like i said if you have the ability to help somebody like that and you can um, I just think that's a really nice way to kind of serve others. Um, so 350 right now in the rent category. Like I said, hopefully we won't be touching this. It's just kind of a fallback should something happen to his his job. Um, car insurance, we're gonna go with 500. One, two, three. 20, 40, 60, 80, four. 20, 40, 60, 85. All right, so that's gonna be his car insurance. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be doing these videos bi-weekly as he gets paid. 
and um, you know, make sure that he stays on track and you'll be able to follow along his progress. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. All right, so rent, or I'm sorry, apartment for him. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5. All right, so that's going in his apartment fund. Now, he may or may not be stuffing every single category, every single pay. Um, you know, especially something like Christmas where he already has such a great jump start on things. I don't necessarily think he needs to, you know, um, make that, um, oh, we did the new car already. All right. So which one didn't we do? I think I did two pages. Christmas. Here we go. Okay. So it should be 400 left. So 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84. All right, so like I said, I think having that kind of jump start on the holidays, he doesn't necessarily need to pad this envelope every single pay. So that's that. All right, so we landed on 1770, I believe, for the new car. That was the last one we were going to plug in the figure for. All right. And it's May 3rd. All right, so those are his funds. And these are going to remain his envelopes. Now everything is completely organized and ready to go for him. And anytime that, you know, he wants to discuss his finances and where he stands with things and, you know, what things are looking like, easy peasy. We can just pull out this notebook. I'm gonna rubber band this or I'm gonna put a binder clip on it and we'll pull this out and we'll go over it together. And then once this becomes old hat to him and he's on um, a habit with it and a regular regimen with taking care of his budget and paying attention to it um, every payday like you know we all do, um, then he can take this over on his own and he will have the tools that he needs to remain organized, focused, and stay with his goals in within sight. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love setting up a new budget. I think that it's really fun. I know that it takes a little bit longer, um, but now that we all have the backstory and um, the initial process out of the way, um, the following videos will be just, um, they'll be done just like mine, basically, um, where I give you an update and um, we talk about it every single time we have new money added to the budget or a new paycheck. So thank you so much for watching it again. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I enjoy reading your comments, so leave me a comment down below, and I will see you soon. Be well.